What's up homies, this is Jesus coming at you with another video and another issue. So to make it short, yesterday there was a huge storm um, and there was a huge flood. So when I went outside, I was leaving work, I saw the water, the flood on the parking lot was literally past my rims. So I didn't want to walk in all that, so I had somebody in a truck give me a ride and I literally had to, I jumped on their bed of the truck and hopped in from the trunk because I didn't want to open the door and have all the water come inside the car, which it did either way. But to make it simple, I started the car as fast as I could and literally floored it out of there because I didn't want to leave my car long in the water because I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want to risk getting water inside my intake or wherever. The point is that when I was leaving home that day, uh, the, ch the check engine light popped up literally as I was driving out of work to go home and the car literally slipped on me three times the transmission slipped three times so today I got a scan got a scan tool and the check engine light code that popped up was P1602 which is transmission control module well that happened yesterday today this morning the light literally was not there and then when I made a quick drive the car drove perfectly fine but then when I literally parked the car, left the car on, left, came back after five minutes, the check engine line was back on. And then when I wanted to drive back home, that's when it gave me the issues. So obviously the light is popping in back and forth. Um, so I'm hoping it's like a bad circuit, bad connection. I gotta check that out tomorrow. But obviously it wasn't very smart of me to start the car with literally water up that high but although I did check my fluids I checked my oil my transmission fluid they didn't seem to have any water and for the most part my hood was uh, for the most part under my hood was dry I even looked towards the intake uh, the intake looked dry so that means no water was able to pass through but yeah there it is right there and it is coming in back and forth so I'm assuming the issue is I'm assuming it is a bad connection with something hopefully I just gotta figure it out tomorrow at work but if you guys have this issue with code P1602 especially on a Hyundai feel free to leave me any suggestions and if I'm able to figure it out hopefully fix it I'll give you guys ways on how to approach it and hopefully solve this issue but yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll keep you guys updated.